Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a personal break for Brett G from Tennessee. So thank you so much, Brett, for letting me open up this box of 2020 Panini Chronicles Baseball. Now, Brett was saying in a comment the other day that he'd ordered a box because he'd got one for himself and did not open a single Lou Bob card out of his entire box. So I'm going to try and fix that for him right here in just a moment. But just before we get into this box, I do want to mention there are no new releases this week. Uh, the only thing coming out this week seems to be Origins Football on Friday. So when that comes out, I'll be opening that up, you know, to preview the box on the channel. But for today, we just have several personal breaks and then one humongous mail opening. That'll be up last. But um, the package we got last week, I was saying, oh, our biggest package yet. But this package is literally as tall as these shelves back here. If you don't believe me, you'll have to check that thumbnail out where I attempt to hold the package within the frame, but it doesn't even fit. But, but anyways, I'm done with that story. Let's get into this box of Chronicles here for Brett by snapping ourselves into the corner and let's get started. Now Chronicles has been pretty good to us so far on the channel. We pulled a one of one autograph of Brendan McKay. We pulled the buyback stamped auto rookie autograph of, from Phoenix. Uh, and I didn't realize at first that, um, it was actually a comment that told me it was the buyback rookie because it is an RC stamped Fernando Tatis Jr. card, autographed on card actually. Numbered out of 10, we got that for Miguel on, what day of the week is it? It's Wednesday. So we got that on Monday. Man, everything's blending together. And we've just seen a lot of really cool cards here. So I'm excited to find some awesome stuff in here for Brett. Now you do get three autographs and one memorabilia card per box. So let's get into it and see what's in here. Oh, looks like we have something fancy in our first pack. You have a limited Jesus Lazardo. Screens look a little dark. Sometimes if I don't have the Chronicles box in the right spot, it gets a bit dark. We have Rookies and Stars, Jose Altuve, Donnie Walton, Seattle Classic Baseball. And we have a Michael Chavis Spectra Baseball autograph, 197 out of 199. Signatures, Silver Prism. That's actually a really cool looking signature with the jersey number inscription. Always appreciate that right there. 23 for Michael Chavez. I mean, I'm assuming that's his jersey number. Why else is that there? That is actually nice. In the Boston themes, the uh, the red in the card looks cool too. That is cool. Michael Chavez signatures. Where did I put my thick sleeves? Here they are. I have my little box of regular size sleeves. I'm like, wait a minute. I made sure to put extras in there because Chronicles does use a lot of sleeves. Um, we are still out of 180 points. Bossman says he had some at home, so he'll be bringing those later. Otherwise, I did manage for all the different breaks to just go through the shop and just prowl around for 180 points. Um, I hope we get more soon. No, that was not fun. But we have Magnitude Shun Yamaguchi. We have a Green Mirror Certified Jordan Alvarez Rookie. Nice, I'll sleep that up. Shogo Akiyama Obsidian Rookie. And a Crusade Kwang Hyun Kim. All right. All right, the piles have begun. All right, let's get Jordan sleeved. Chronicles are actually a pretty quick rip as well. There's only eight cards per pack, six packs per box. So it is pretty quick to open. We have Sheldon Noisy, limited. We have a Mike Trout score. Chronicles, Juan Soto, Spectra Silver Prism, Lorenzo Cain, and I'm not going to sleeve up the Spectra cards because all Spectras in here are at least Silver Prism. I will be sleeving all the different uh, parallels and good rookies that I find, but the Spectra ones, they're all Silver Prism base. Shogakiyama Status, AJ Puck Magnitude, we have a Bryce Harper Obsidian, and Silver Prism Phoenix Yoshitomo Tsugo for the Rays. We have a Boba Shet, Rookies and Stars. Magnitude Juan Soto. We have a Magnitude Shohei Otani, Red Parallel, 88 of 99. See the red up there, the red foiling. Yadier Molina, Silver Prism from Spectra. Another Molina, this one from Certified. Green Status Parallel, Nico Horner. 
Jake Rogers Mosaic Silver Prism, and Titan Juan Soto. Come on, sleeves. Don't you hate it when your sleeves just don't cooperate? All right, so actually we are still Lubobless, but we're starting to get into some rookies, getting some Boba Shets, getting some Alvarez's. So hopefully we will find him here. We've, we haven't had a box that hasn't had one yet, so hopefully this isn't Brett's curse here, but we'll see. We still have half the box left. And still, each pack should from here on out have a hit because we just have the one out of four, and there's only three packs remaining. Let's see, we have Jordan Alvarez Magnitude, Jesus Lazardo Chronicles, Danny Mendick Score, we have Nick Solok. Hey, we found a Lubob, but that's cool. Our first Obsidian Autograph from Chronicles. Not sure how I feel about this design. The way the stripes go, it makes it look like to me that the card is um, cut weird. It looks like down here it's actually like a die cut card, but it's not. It's straight. It just... I don't like this optical illusion. Also the way... I mean, it's not... I can tell it's not miscut because of where the RC stamp is, but just the way it's sitting up there... I don't know. I don't know. The base, the base obsidians are gorgeous. I don't know how I feel about this autograph. It really doesn't matter how I feel, it matters how Brett feels. But we have Nick Solok, rookie autograph for the Rangers. Let me get that sleeved up. It is a sticker autograph, unfortunately. Uh, like I mentioned in another video of Chronicles on the channel, I find it interesting how there's a mix of both sticker and on-card autographs in this product. But, um, yeah, interesting design choice there. We have a certified Lubob, Nico Horner status. We have Mosaic Prism, Brian Abreu, and Silver Prism, Shun Yamaguchi. Yeah, so we still, okay, so we're still good. Still have not had a box without a Lubob in it. Alright, two packs remain, one more autograph, and one memorabilia card to find. We got Timeless Treasures, Aquino, Jordan Alvarez, Legacy. Ooh, looks like we have some sort of redemption here. Christian Yelich, Classics. And we have Valued Collector. Ooh -hoo -hoo! There we go! Ending Brett's Lubob drought. Not sure if this is what you're aiming for. I think he said he didn't get any Lubobs or any Kyle Lewis cards in his box. But you know what? You got two. The, the Robert count here is two. One of which being a Rookies and Stars Signatures autograph. And one thing I know about this set. I'm actually going to pull up the checklist because I'm nosy. But the Rookies and Stars Signatures, that's where we got that one of one Brendan McKay. That said black uh, cardboard connection. Let me find it. Uh, the uh, base cards, there's, it's a base autograph set, but they are all numbered. So let me go ahead and find that real quick. Why is it? It's in Chronicles still isn't on the new releases tab, but if you scroll down enough on the page, where is it? Hey, 2020 Tampa Bay Lightning Stanley Cup Champions Memorabilia Guide. Yo, I raided the lids.com website immediately after I ordered. I know some of you guys roasted me that one week I was wearing the hat. I ordered a flat bill hat because I, I feel like I look like a hoodlum and I just like the aesthetic. <laughs> I also did pick up why is this page like whatever. You know, I'll just I'll just type in Chronicles. It wants me to go to Chronicles. You know, we're taking a detour here in this first video of the day. Chronicles. I got a hat, I got a banner to hang in the background to flex on all of you guys. I got this pennant at the Dick's Sporting Goods yesterday as well, and this shirt, and a different hat. And what was the other thing I ordered? I don't remember what the other thing I ordered. What did I order from the website? Oh, I ordered the, the little scarf they were wearing, too. Because I like that. Yeah. So I'm debating to order more stuff. They have, like, a garden flag my mom would want. And stuff like that. They have signed pucks that are not that expensive. Rookies and Star Signatures set checklist. 
Okay, interesting. The Brendan McKay bass is out of 10, but the Lou Bob bass is out of 99. So there are less McKays than Lou Bobs. Well, okay, so this is actually numbered out of 99 here. I know, long, long time detour here, but very cool. Congratulations to Rhett. Oop, no, actually. I don't care that it's not the actual card itself. We still, we still top load the hits as long as we have top loaders. So the redemption goes in the top loader. Don't sue me. Anyways, continuing, we have Shogakiyama certified. Do I have a base certified pile? I do. There's a green Lou Bob. Lou Bob counts three from Titanium. JD Martinez mosaic base. I don't think we have a base mosaic pile yet. And then Contenders Optics season ticket Clayton Kershaw. Everyone say hi to the webcam. <laughs> Man, that was a good pack. That was a good pack. All right, so our memorabilia card is going to be in this last pack here. Let's find out what it is. We have an AJ Puck, Timeless Treasures. All right, we don't have a pile for that yet. Yoshitomo Tsugo, Classics. Chronicles, Anthony Rizzo, Matt Chapman, out of 3 of 10, Spectra, ooh, that's cool, really cool gold patch there, I mean, it matches with the Oakland colors, so that's nice, Matt Chapman, numbered out of 10, gorgeous patch card there, 3 of 10, uh, the Athletics did lose yesterday though, right, or boss man was like, man, and they were losing. I don't know the outcome of the game. I have I, I've just been in like hockey mode, obvi obviously. But I'll have to catch up on my other sports soon. We have Jordan Yamamoto, Titanium, Nolan Arenado, Certified, Michael King, Mosaic, and Pink Mojo, Titan, Anthony Rizzo. It is pink. Right now it looks purple, but it is actually pink. That's a bit easier to see. The camera's been acting up recently, but we should be getting a replacement in soon. 14 of 75 here on that pink mojo. But that'll do it for this box here. This was definitely another winning box from Chronicles. Like I said, we've seen at least one cool card in every single box we've opened. Hopefully that trend continues. Hopefully I haven't jinxed myself by saying, oh, all our boxes have been good. So... I mean, but I mean, you know, one of one, we've had a one of one. We've had actually now a couple cards numbered out of 10. We have a Lou Bob auto. We had the Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie buyback auto out of 10. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's unlicensed. You're getting a lot of rookies, but a lot of those rookies might not. You know, because like even Chronicles, it's like, oh, you're getting, you're getting a lot of Lou Bobs for box, a lot of Bichette's Alvarez, Aquino. And we didn't have any Kyle Lewis cards in here again. But you know what? We got a Lou Bob auto. It's fine. I'm, I'm sure Brett will be happy with this. But, um... I mean, we, we've recently, I mean, we've recently sold out of all of our Chronicles Tatis rookies from last year. They weren't particularly expensive, but you know what? They're cool. As long as you like the player, you're like, hey, it's a rookie card. I like it. it you know, it's not really a big deal. But let's go over, I'm going to start with the sleeve cards first. Parallels and rookies. We, of course, just saw that Pink Mojo Rizzo out of 75. Base Aquino, Base Alvarez, Green Robert, Alvarez Bates, Lou Bob Certified Base. Mosaic Prism Abreu, Silver Prism Yamaguchi Base Bichette, Red Otani, Green Horner, Prism Rogers, Prism Tsugo. Hey, we didn't get any base Phoenix cards out of this box. That's a bit disappointing. I just like the way the Phoenix ones look a lot. And then we had that Green Mirror Alvarez from Certified. That will do it for this pile recap. Then for our hit recap, we did have that Silver Prism Michael Chavez signature on card autograph from Spectra. We had the weird looking Obsidian Nick Solak rookie auto. Like I said, I'm not I'm not a fan of this design. I love the base Obsidian cards, not so much this one. We had the re Redemption for Lou Bob from Rookies and Stars. Then we had that Gold Prism Matt Chapman patch card, 3 of 10 for the Oakland Athletics. That will do it for this box. Thank you so much, Brett, for letting me open it up for you. I hope you enjoyed this box as much as I had fun opening it. If you did, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you excited to end your Chronicles Lou Bob drought? Let me know. Sorry I couldn't get you any more Kyle Lewis cards, but um, Lou Bob count was three.
So we're still doing pretty good. We're breaking the odds here. Most of the time it's been two. We did have a box that had four. <laughs> but most of them have been two. So three is pretty good as well. And all of you out there watching as well, of course I hope you enjoyed this video too. If you did, make sure to smack that like button. And if you have comments for me, let me know. Um, again, topic. I'll reuse the same topic. What do you think of the weird mix of sticker and on-card autographs out of this product? I find it interesting. It's like you were able to get Panini. You were able to get some on card. Why couldn't you just get all of them? I, don't know. I mean, I know it's it's easier to just use stickers. Like I get it, but interesting, interesting design here, especially for some of them like obsidian luminance. It's like why wouldn't you get those on card? They would look so much better on card. But anyways, probably shouldn't be complaining, right? <laughs> but anyways. If you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, also, we'd love to have you. We did hit 10,000 subscribers the other day, and actually we're at, like, 10.1 and a half. Like, we're going to hit, I think, 10 point... We hit 10.1 yesterday. I think we'll hit 10.2. So growth is uh, picking up again, which is awesome. I'm a bit scared. I'm like, oh, no, people, more, more people to judge me. But you know what? It's awesome. More people to enjoy the content. Got to stay positive. But thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed, whether you've been here since the beginning or just recently. I do appreciate you guys checking out the channel, and I'm happy to hear that you're enjoying the content. So if you're not yet subscribed, we'd love to have you with us. But that is it for this video. Do have more Chronicles Baseball openings coming up today. So we started off pretty good. Let's keep the hype going in the next video for... I think it's Mark J. Let me check my little sticky note. Yeah, Mark J is up next with a single box of Chronicles Baseball. So that is it for me here. Let me get this cleaned up and then I'll catch you all in the next video. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care and I'll be back shortly. Bye!